Hey guys, it's Kayla, also known as kk 2 loud Today, I wanted to share a quick review video on the Deep Cool AK400 digital CPU cooler. Now, this is one of the only CPU coolers on the market that I could find with a digital display. And for just 50 bucks, it is well worth the price. Let's find out why. <laughs> To get started, let's go over some of the specs of this CPU cooler. This is Deep Cool's Zero Dark Digital Display Edition, and it comes in both black and white. It's a single tower air cooler with four direct contact copper nickel plated heat pipes, and it comes with thermal paste already installed. It also has a 120 millimeter high performance fluid dynamic bearing fan. Seriously, this fan is so quiet. It sits next to me while I game and I can hardly hear it, even when it ramps up to 100%. And of course, the biggest highlight for the CPU air cooler is its sleek digital display with ARGB lights running across the top and the bottom. And as a side note, if you are worried about how little of RGB lights come on the CPU cooler, I don't think you're gonna really be missing out on much once you install it into your PC, especially if you already have intake and exhaust fans with the RGB lights. Once I installed it into my PC, I absolutely fell in love with how it looks. The old saying, less is more, really plays into effect here. It's got that sleek black design that almost blends into the background of my PC. And then the LED screen with the RGB lights on the side really adds a pop to its appearance. As far as installation goes, it's compatible with both Intel and AMD and installing it into my PC was quick and the directions were very easy to follow along with. But if you do have any questions on how to install it, you'll find the how-to video located on their website. One thing I will mention is this air cooler does have three separate cables that you have to install. One is for the digital display, one is for the fan, and one is for the RGBs. Now that may seem like a lot of cables for a CPU cooler, but they did a great job of keeping them hidden by making a cable channel that sits between the cooler and the fan. Now you may be hesitant to buy this CPU cooler because you do have to download software to use the digital display, but let me tell you that was the easiest part of this entire installation. To find the download on Google, I looked up AK400 Digital and there was a link to Deep Cool's website. You'll find the download section on the bottom right of the page and you'll want to download deepcooldigitalsetup.zip. Once the software was installed, I opened it on my computer and the temp display showed up on the CPU cooler almost instantly. Now there are a few things you can change within the software if you right click its icon in your icon tray. You can switch the reading from temperature to utilization or automatic, which switches back and forth between the two every few seconds. You can also switch the display from Celsius to Fahrenheit and you can turn on the alarm control, which will flash the display if your temps get too hot. With this setting, I will note, you can't customize the number. It is just pre-programmed within the software. I did reach out to Deep Cool's customer support and they said that it would start alerting at 90 degrees Celsius. I can't confirm this number because my CPU hasn't gotten that hot. So this information is only based off of what I was told by Deep Cool's customer support. You may be wondering, how accurate is this display? Well, I did a comparison between the display and core temp and they were only one degree off from each other, which to me is no big deal because I'm just assuming it's a bit of a delay. Next, let's talk about thermal testing. I have a Ryzen 7 5700X, which is an eight core 16 thread CPU with a 65 watt TDP. For reference on the type of stress that I'm putting on my CPU, in a typical night I'm playing Call of Duty, I'll be recording and streaming on OBS, and I'll have Twitch Live going in the background. Before making the upgrade to the AK400, I was using a stock Cooler Master CPU air cooler that came with my pre-built PC. I was seeing idle temps between 50 and 55 degrees Celsius, mid-range was usually around 60 degrees Celsius, and then when I was gaming, I was seeing temps upward of 80 degrees. 
Now I undervolted my CPU to 1.125 and I saw those max temps while I was gaming drop to about 70 degrees Celsius, but my idle temp was still sitting in the 50 degrees Celsius range. After switching to the AK400 and adding two additional exhaust fans going out the top while keeping my CPU undervolted, I was seeing idle temps in the 38 degrees Celsius range. My mid range temps were between 40 to 45 degrees Celsius and the temps while I was gaming and using OBS to record and stream were sitting between 50 and 59 degrees Celsius. With all that being said, I understand that undervolting my CPU and then adding the two additional exhaust fans is gonna help drop that temp more than what the CPU cooler could have done alone, but I am still extremely impressed with the performance of the cooler for the price. Let's recap my overall thoughts on the Deepcool AK400 Digital Display CPU Cooler. Now, obviously, I'm sure you can tell that I highly recommend it to anybody that's looking for a budget-friendly, unique addition to their PC setup. And as I mentioned earlier, there aren't many other options for a great performing CPU cooler that also has a digital display. Besides how simple and easy to use the software is, I absolutely love that you can see your CPU's temp right on the display. This is honestly the biggest perk for me because before I was constantly switching between my gameplay and core temp. And yes, you can download MSI Afterburner to have your temps displayed right on your screen while you're gaming, but that option didn't work for me because MSI and OBS do not get along together. So whenever I did have that pulled up on my screen, OBS would crash, which is why I was looking for this alternative route. So in conclusion, if you are looking for an easy to install, budget friendly, high performing CPU air cooler that also looks pretty badass, this is the one for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, let me know in the comments below because I love hearing from y'all. Hope to see you next time. <laughs>